Hi everyone, it's James from Blueprint Games, and in this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to make a usable item in Unreal 4. Uh, here I've got a, a drawer that when you get up to it, it changes the cursor so you can open, and you've got an item inside that you can pick up, and then you can close the drawer again. So in the first episode, I'm going to show you how to do the uh, animation for the drawer. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so I've started here with a first person template and the first thing I want to do is make a new blueprint which will be the draw. So to do that you want to right click and then you want to do blueprint class and then actor. And we'll just call this draw. So we want to double click to open that. And then we want to drag in the draw we want to use into this area here and then we want to drag this in as well I just want to line this up make it fit okay just bring that out more Okay, so from here what we want to do is go into the event graph, actually there's one more thing we want to add and that is a collision. So come down here, box collision and then we want to change the size of this to get over the draw. It's just rough, so that will do for now. Uh, so basically, what we're doing is when the player enters this area, then it allows them to interact with the draw. <clears throat> so then we want to go into the event graph, and from here, with the box selected up here, this is the collision box, we want to right click on the graph and we want to add event for box and then collision and then add on component begin overlap. And then while we're here, we want to select the box again. Right click, add event for box, collision, and then add on component and overlap. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to have it so when the player enters that collision, they can interact with the draw, and then when they leave the box, they can't interact with it. So what we need to do is we need to get the player controller, and then from this return value, we want to enable input. And we'll drag it off again, and this time we want to do disable input. So here, when they enter, we want to enable, and then when we walk out, we want to disable. Um, what you want to make sure you do is, with the begin overlap, you want to make sure that the player controller isn't plugged into target. It needs to be plugged into player controller. Okay, so for this next bit, we want to uh, add the interaction. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new timeline. So we want to right click and then if we just scroll down to the bottom, you've got add timeline. And we just call this draw for now. Uh, then when we double click that, we want to create a float. And then we want to change the time from five seconds down to 0.75, I think good. And then what we want to do is we want to shift click on zero. Just change up here, change the time to zero and value to zero. Make sure it's on the time there. And then we want to shift click at the end, but this time we want to change this to 0 0.75. And then we want to change this to one. Now if it goes off the screen, you can just press this button up here to zoom it to fit. And we want a nice curve here, so what we want to do is we want to make sure both keyframes are selected. You can hold down Control and then click both of them. Right click on one of the frames and we can change it to Auto. And then that does like a nice curve there. Okay, so if we go back to the event graph, 
So what we want to do now is we want to use this timeline to move the uh, the draw. So with the draw selected up here, we can well we can drag it out to get it, and then from here we want to set the relative location. So what we want to do is we want to add some variables now. So we up here we can do add new variable, and then we want to change it from boolean to a vector, and we'll call this one uh, draw start. And then we want to create a new variable, and we'll call this draw end. So this is the start location, and then this will be the end location. So for the start location, what you need to do first is compile, so you can edit the default values. Uh, and I'm going to get the, the value that I've got in here. So if we go back to the viewport and the draw, you've got the location. What we want to do is we want to use the same coordinates, so it will start in the same place. What we want to do is then go down here and click on draw start so then we can change these variables. And so we want to change it to what we had before. So it's, for me it was 0 0.7, 7.5 and 50. And then on the draw end we want to change this to where we want it to, to end. So for me I would want uh, 50, uh, 0 on the x. 50 on the Y and we'll keep it at 50 on the Z. So it should only come out 50 units. We can compile and save that. Okay, so then we want to um, set up the animation. So if we go back to the event graph, we've got here where it says new location. And uh, we've got the location here. So what we need to do is we need to bring this out here and we're gonna call it lerp vector and uh, what this basically means is that it will move smoothly from one vector to the next vector so what we want to do is we want to plug in our draw start to a and then we want draw end into b and then we want to plug return value into the new location so from the timeline we then want to update when the timeline is complete, we want to update the location of the draw. So to trigger the animation, when, what we want to do is when we press E, for example, uh, it will trigger the animation. But first we want to do a flip-flop. What this is, is every time you press E, it will do a different action. So the first one, we want it to play the animation. And then the second time you press it, we want it to reverse. So that's opening and closing. So if we give this a go, compile and save that. And then if we go to our, um, we can close this now actually, we don't need that. So go back to our game window here, and you've got this new blueprint. So if we drag this out, just make it a little bit bigger, and then we will play from here. If we press E, opens, closes, open, closes. We can only do it if it's in, if we're inside the box. Okay, uh, so in the next tutorial, we're going to be uh, making a new object, uh, a battery that you can put inside the drawer and pick up. So I'll see you in the next one.